What's up, YouTube? Noah here with Gasser Works. At Gasser Works. Today we have the rat rod in. We got the 48 coop up on jack stands. We're gonna take the front end out of the coop. And we're gonna put it up under the rat rod. We did have a front end under this before. It was made with motorcycle wheels on it. Let me pull out my light. Hold on. Oh, can't show you guys. I won't be able to see it. They had motorcycle wheels on the front with 17 millimeter axles. They were too thin. Didn't like it. It would wobble back and forth and make it feel like it would snap off. Anyways. This thing has all the international V8 in it. We're probably going to take this motor out. Throw a 350 in it. That way it's easier. We got some headers to put on it. Shoot you guys the headers. $50. So yeah. Now I got to get to getting this shit unbolted, and I got to get the wishbone bolted, unbolted. I gotta take all this shit out so we can put it up under there. Time for rust in the face. Bunch of shit asses. <laughs> you stupid shit ass. <laughs> yeah. That's it for now, man. Would you like this to be a fucking shit ass? <laughs> You're a fucking shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, he insulted my ass. <laughs> Bunch of shit asses. <laughs> so we've now snagged the front end out from under the coop. We got it out here. Where we can't see. Yeah, where the GoPro can't see shit, where we can't see shit. Michael's got the wheel. So we got I one side pie cut. Have, somewhat. I think we're gonna have to adjust it. But... Pulled it out by hand and it's kinda looking about right. Just gotta do the other side. Weld them up. We're gonna weld everything once it's all put in place. Would you like to introduce the rat rod? This is my pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? The cab? It's a 51 International. And you made it into a bigger pile of shit than it was when I found it. Not really. By putting street signs in it and making bucket seats by hand and the spider web rebar rear window. Yeah. With the with the keg for the gas tank and the leather straps. 
custom bed and a 48 Pontiac rear end and a 48 Pontiac front bumper on the back. It's a three link with a wishbone. That needs some massage. Yeah. <laughs> How's it gonna go straight? We don't know. <laughs> You're just eyeballing it. We gotta so, put our good eye on it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what you call putting your good eye on it. Oh you gotta yeah. Help me roll it. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna interfere with Jack stand somehow. We gotta lift yours up. Yeah. Squeeze it around there. Yeah. Might have to cut a little bit more out. Who knows? Maybe we ought to not pull them way out here and just make some brackets. Reach well, up to the and, bottom of the frame there. That would do real nicely, actually. Yeah, I think so too. Because then it would kind of angle it backwards. Well, a, if you notice, there's a big ass. All this is tied together right there. Right. And they actually land, and those are actually hollow. Right. So our tube ends will fit right in there, man. Yeah. And when you mounting below the frame rail too it leans it back a little bit on these king pins and all that yep gives you the right geometry i believe it will looks like a fucking tractor right now it is now daylight we're here the next day and now we're pulling this engine out so we can put a 350 in it you damn right we're using the tractor. That's what it's for. <laughs> it's what it's for. It's perfect time to uh, crack open the PVRs and work on the junk. Yeah. Junk. The shifter's still in it. Yeah. <laughs> the shifter. The shifter's still in it. Oh, bullshit. Oh, both ever. Wood. Okay. Hell yeah. Make sure that the plug wires were in. Yeah, that's all it did. <laughs> Make sure the plug wires were in. That pulled tight. Yeah. Right. Still doesn't fit. It's so close. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Starter's still wired up. Final. Oh, it's 
Not as long as I thought it was. <laughs> so, so we got some plates made here, so we can mount our leaf spring to the front of that frame. And we're gonna eyeball it into life. Michael's got the welder hooked up. He's about to weld it up with his welding mask on. <laughs> what are you saying, man? Yeah. <laughs> That's what bugs say about welders. Walk into the light. Hey. Run to the light, Carolyn. Run. Run to the light, Carolyn. Put up on me. Ah! What exactly were you doing? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm just making it up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a stick? How did you get out? We got the 350 on the hoist. It's about to go in there so we can make some motor mounts and shit for it. <laughs> and uh, hey, you don't ever want to put your hand right there in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, and pinch them off. Yeah, I heard about a guy. Yeah, <laughs> pinch them off like that turd I dropped last night. The ass pincher off. <laughs> Are you gonna make sure it goes in there and not against it when I roll it that way? You grab it by the shifter and make sure it goes through all the gears while you do this. What's gonna end up happening is it's gonna flip the motor once over and break my transmission off. It's gonna knock the fucking car off the stands. Gotta go up at least a lot. Damn, yeah. Oh, you moved. Standing away. Moved the jack stand out from. Sorry, Drayden. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't even want it. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta go back and go to that but I don't know. You got a long way to go down. Yeah. Woo! 
Whatever, wherever we put it, we gotta make sure we put it in a place where it makes. It's impossible to put the shooter cap. Yeah, yeah, that or it's impossible to take the bell housing bolts out. No. We make we gotta make it really hard to work on. Yeah, fuck it. Like valve cover doesn't come <coughs> off the fucking intake. Like. We gotta put a jacket in the back of the train. <laughs> that way it's, that way it's really fucking hard to get them damn exhaust bolts off or all of it or take the valve cover off no the man. damn <laughs> top of it you can't get that distributor out of there <laughs> don't even think about them damn bell housing bolts <laughs> <laughs> if something goes wrong, you just burn it to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> something goes wrong, you're fucked. <laughs> you don't need this truck that bad at that point. <laughs> so now he's welding in some motor mounts with the helmet up. All right, so it's early morning. The last time uh, we had the GoPro out, the rat rod, it was uh, when we were putting the motor mounts together. But uh, that was a few months ago by this point. So uh, here I am, we're gonna go ahead activate my choke and crank up my old 454 in the crew cab PCV valve. Oh, yeah. Truck might run a little better with some keys in it. Now we're off. Back to 
the shop. Oh. What's happening? So here we are at the rat rod. Last time y'all seen, we put the motor mounts in it, but now we have headers on it. We have a coolant temp sensor getting hooked up. There's a carburetor in here. We got some plug wires going on. We got the new belt I just picked up in there, an alternator, an alternator bracket, and all that good stuff. We have mounted this even though we have to remount that uh, we still have to figure out a steering box and, well we do have a list here of stuff to accomplish here till we have a running and driving rat rod here but uh just recently we took the four speed transmission clutch flywheel and bell housing and starter out of a 71 c20 so it's got a granite gear now the other side of the transmission the shifter coming up to here it's pretty sweet we put some slicks on the back I forget what size these are, but they're huge. We have, still have to run through the rear end of the car, make sure it's good, and put up the drive shaft, finish the exhaust. Uh, we still have to wire everything. We're gonna put the radiator in the back of it with a cool trick tailgate and this shut off switch right here in the middle, stuff like that. Yeah get started on this this morning and uh, we'll get back to y'all all right so Michael's under there fucking with the exhaust we got a couple of things crossed off our list here shine a light for you fuckers see this we got our plugs in plug wires attached exhaust bolted some vacuum lines. Alternator belt is tight. Same thing on this side. We hooked up our oil pressure gauge and some wiring for the ignition switch and ignition to the distributor. Gotta find an oil dipstick. There she is. A dipstick. Oh yeah. Maybe I ought to wipe off the stick before I stick it down in there. Just put all the dirt and shit in there. Yeah, with all the dog hair on it and shit. <laughs> it's good for the motor. I'm gonna try it with a little wooden mallet. <laughs> I don't think it's going to make it go in there. I'm going to have a dipstick. What song is it that reminds you of? I don't remember. The Reaper. Blue Ape Oyster Cult. The don't Fear the Reaper. Don't Fear the Reaper. Here's one last look at these gold 1.6 ratio roller rockers for a big block and a 350 small block. 
but uh, and don't forget the the poly locks. Yeah, one last look at those before we cover it up with the valve cover, and then uh, all we pretty much gotta do is pour some fucking gas in it, and we're good. Yeah. So now I got the valve covers bolted down, some gas in it. You ready to crank it over? Yeah, a ton of ether. The battery's going dead, ain't it? They ran. This sounded pretty cool. All right. Oh, the tire is hard to lean around. Yeah. <laughs> Stand on this jack. I would imagine that's got to be over the over the right. It might be. Yeah, it'll be. This thing. Oh, I see. Him. It's not pouring yet. There it goes. Oh. 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 Okay, well. Oh. <laughs> there was a little bit of a splash towards the yeah. thing, I guess. There was, a, there was like a few drips that got in the bowl. Alright. The rest of it's just like, here I am. Everywhere. Here I am. <laughs> Burn you like a gasoline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, please don't be plugged up for over here. Shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. What's leaking? Yeah. Fuel line to the hard line right here where it's against the alternator. Yeah. Pouring right there. Well, at least we know we got fuel now. Oh, it's got fuel. <laughs> yeah. Give it wide open. Yeah, hold it wide open.
pretty gnarly. <laughs> that is so badass. <laughs> Hell yeah. It sounds wicked. Now all we gotta do is open the door so we don't die. <laughs> yeah, open the door so we don't die. It sounds really good. We can call that one a video, couldn't we? Y'all yeah. will see this car again when we do some suspension. Peace. Dude went around Oconee County and um, took pictures of lost Oconee County. Damn, there it is. That's her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty big difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool.